The Benfica Academy is an actual factory responsible for the production of quality footballers who later get promoted to much richer clubs. Only the academies of Ajax and Barcelona are able to compete with the Eagles in terms of the amount of top-level talents. There is a new super performer shining in the current Benfica lineup, in whom both top Manchester clubs are showing interest. We are talking about João Neves. Hi everyone! Today we will tell you who João Neves is and why Manchester United and Manchester City need him that much. Support this video with a like and let's get into it! Let's get going! He's 19 but plays like he's 30. João Neves' compatriot João Felix noted about the whiskey. It's hard to disagree with him as the Benfica graduate demonstrates a surprisingly mature display. João Neves operates in a position that requires the player to have maximum football intelligence, the ability to scan the pitch and read the opponent's game, a defensive midfielder. Simply put, he is the connection point between defenders and the attacking group of football players. Despite his very young age, the entire Benfica's game plan is in fact built through Neves. He is the team's absolute leader if we are taking the average number of touches of the ball per game, 103.2. Not only is this the highest number at Benfica squad, but also in the entire Portugal league in general. However, one shouldn't think that this is the hype of central midfielder who, upon receiving the ball, looks for the safest and easiest option for the attacking development. Neves is technical and unpredictable while working with the ball. He has a 71% dribbling success rate, which is extremely unusual for a footballer of his caliber. Check out the way Joao is able to find the gap between the players in the midfield and push the ball forward. Or the way he is able to fool an opponent in order to avoid marking and earn himself a foul. 54 progressive passes per game on average is an incredible number, which is also the best in the Primeira Liga. João Neves is a rather short football player, he is only 174 centimeters tall. However, this doesn't stop him from winning even aerial duels thanks to good physique. In this aspect, he somewhat resembles Manchester United central defender Lisandro Martinez or former Man City defensive midfielder Nigel de Jong, although his profile is most similar to Marco Verratti. Catching up with the opponent and taking the ball away from him is not a problem for Neves since he is very fast and knows how to properly use his body. Like in the following episode during the game against FC Vizela. Moving on, Neves' passes delivered near the penalty area are masterpieces to say the least. Especially his signature scoop pass behind the defender's backs. This adds a real charm to Joao's style of play. Joao's insane self-confidence is also a thing worth paying attention to. He rarely has opportunities to score, but as soon as he finds himself in a good position to shoot, he takes advantage of that opportunity. It was this footballer who delivered the most beautiful goal of the European Under-21 Championship, according to UEFA. As for the Portugal League, Neves backed only two goals. But what goals they were! In both cases, the young midfielder made the difference against Sporting, Benfica's biggest rivals. Moreover, both of these goals were scored in stoppage time. In the first one, Neves saved his side from defeat and in the second, the boy actually scored the winner. This suggests that Neves has enough self-confidence to run forward and take responsibility at the right moment. By the way, the mentioned draw against Sporting happened in the penultimate match day as Benfica continued to challenge Porto for the title. The Eagles didn't allow the Dragons to get close, eventually winning their first trophy in four years in the last fixture versus Santa Clara. For the most part, the game in the final third of the pitch can be considered almost the only weak point Neves has. We are sure that he will be able to make progress in this aspect and become a more complete performer. Leave your like if you too are delighted with the skill of this young midfielder. Joao Neves was born in the small town of Tavira, beginning his football career at the Algavre Academy. At the age of 12, he began studying at the Benfica Academy, and at the age of 13, he played at the same level as 15-year-olds. A child prodigy, that's for sure. 
In 2022, back when Joao was still 17, he won the UEFA Youth League with Benfica U19 squad. While in the tournament itself, he managed to make 7 appearances, scored 1 goal, and provided 2 assists. In other words, Benfica have been aware of this guy's talent for quite a while and thus believed in him. With that said, it was one of the most expensive transfers in the history of football that helped Joao make his debut for Benfica's first team, the sale of Enzo Fernandes to Chelsea for $121 million. Benfica have decided not to search for Argentine's replacement, and since April of last year, they began to feature Joao Neves in the starting lineup. Neves began to exceed expectations right from his first appearances. The Eagles wouldn't even notice the loss of Fernandes at all. As of this moment, Neves has already managed to make 49 appearances for his boyhood club, netting two goals and delivering three assists. Last month was particularly productive for Neves, as Benfica won four out of six league matches and the guy played a major role in all of them. According to December results, the league named him the best football player of the month. In October, João Neves made his first appearance for the adult Portugal team, and in the summer he was the regular at the U21 squad. Roberto Martinez has only used João in three matches so far, in which the lad spent only 11 minutes on the pitch in total. Nevertheless, even this number is quite an achievement, especially at the age of 19. What's more? According to last year's results, Navish found himself among the contenders for the Golden Boy Award and it was absolutely deserved. Chaos The only word that can be used in order to describe what is happening in all Manchester United lines. However, the main problem is precisely in the center of the midfield because Scott McTominay shines rarely. Casemiro has accumulated lots of problems of the most diverse nature, Hannibal Mishbri was sent to Sevilla. Bruno Fernandes tries to be everywhere, but it doesn't work out very well. Safiane Amrabat basically failed to deliver at such level, and why Mason Mount joined them is still a mystery to uncover. In the end, a very young local graduate, Kabi Mainu, is currently a ray of hope in the midfield area. In order to put things right, the Red Devils really need a football player with the characteristics and potential of João Neves. Calm, technical, excellent in tackles. He has what it takes to become a standout player of the team right on. It should be no surprise that Old Trafford representatives consider João Neves their top transfer target for the summer. Apparently, the new co-owner of the club, Sir Jim Ratcliffe, wants to show the fans how ready he is to spend big money on top-notch names. And Nevish can become such a transfer. Sure, in case of him joining Manchester United, Bruno Fernandes will be there to help Nevish a lot with his adaptation. He will have a great future. In United or somewhere else. I would love to have him at United. He has top quality. But it's Joao's choice. Most of all, I want him to do well, stated the Manchester United captain. There were even rumors in the media that Nevish's contract included a separate release clause option specifically for Manchester United, but Benfica denied them. Any buyer will have to pay one release clause, valued at 120 million euros, no less. As for the case with Manchester City, Nevish looks like an acquisition purely intended for the future, since there is already an incredible Rodri in his position. However, if Rodri gets knocked out of action due to injury or suspension, there is virtually no one to replace him. But, well, it's Pep Guardiola we are talking about. If he was able to make a left back out of Zinchenko, what stops him from changing Nevis's functions? The Portuguese Whiskit is a perfect match for Guardiola's style of play, because he looks great when his team is constantly in possession, and without the ball he turns to instant and successful pressing. Take a look at Nevish's defensive action map this season. He does some tackling literally everywhere. This is exactly what Pep needs. If the Premier League champions end up winning the race for Joao, he could well be put alongside Rodri, where Mateo Kovacic and Matheus Nunez also play. Judging by the comments, the battle for Nevish is also a battle between two Manchester players from Portugal. You see, Man City midfielder Bernardo Silva responded to Bruno's call to move to Manchester United. 
If I have the opportunity, I'll try to make Joao Neves move to Manchester City. I would like Joao to go to Man City instead of Man United, of course. There are also rumors regarding Bayern's interest in Joao, since he could be an ideal replacement for Joshua Kimmich. Alright, we would like to conclude the topic on this note. Write in the comments down below, in which club would you like to see Joao Neves? Subscribe to Vamosito and don't forget to press the like button. Have a good mood everyone, bye bye!